having breakfast. It's about 9.31 a.m. And then later today, about 1.30, the wind should be 25 knots or so, like it was yesterday by that time, or by about three o'clock. So we'll do some foiling, kite surfing, and hopefully get some good GoPro footage for that. Cause I've never even filmed any of my, my uh, kite boarding experience really in my life. And certainly not put it on YouTube. I mean, there's a little bit that I had, but I never used it, just deleted it. So uh, now I've got all the gear to record everything. So you guys can see uh, what I used to do and what I still can do. So here we are, Kalapuri Lagoon, way out in the distance. There's some kites, that's where we're going. I'm actually gonna launch here and do a downwinder. And everybody else is gonna take some gear to the boats. Uh, I don't know if that's normal for people to do it here, but why not do a downwind or why waste a downwind boat ride? No reason. So pump it up from here and launch from this little point. Uh, they only had three fins on the board, on the kite board I'm renting. And then I got the foil in the boat. Uh, once we get to the ocean where it's deep enough here, it's not deep enough to use the foil. So this is the Valo, Valampuri Beach Resort. They got kite surfing here. They got plenty of kites. Um, not a bad setup. They, they do take a boat to where you go kiting. So it's not on like the kite beaches directly, but uh, they got a beautiful pool here that's uh, very well maintained. So time to grab the gear and go. That's my gear. I'm gonna pump this up and launch right here. So I was actually thinking of launching it in the worst way possible, pulling me towards land. <laughs> that way the guys wouldn't have to walk out to this little sandbar. But new kite, rental gear, pigtails were wrong. We had to adjust those. The bar is not tuned properly. This board was missing a fin. So I took all the fins off. <laughs> so we're just gonna rig up the safe way. Unless I step on a conch shell right now, everything should work out perfectly good. So it didn't work out perfectly good. It was one of the worst downwinders I've ever done in my life, but it was still an adventure. We're gonna do a reverse rig. So it's gonna be a downwind rig, and then I'll walk that direction. I'll still be having the kite pull me towards land, but at least I have a buffer of some mangroves and stuff. So with the dock there, well, that wasn't an option before. So that's set up for launch. Here we go. Okay. Never know what's gonna happen. New country. So at this point I'd set up properly for the wind direction for launch. Um, I assumed that this guy knew what he was doing because he works for the kite school at the resort I was staying at, at Valampuri. But I very quickly realized he didn't know anything that was going on at all. He didn't even know how to launch a kite. And I've dealt with that many, many times before. It wasn't a concern of mine. That's why you double, you triple check all your lines, make sure everything's good, put some tension on it, uh, even before the kite's in the air. So even, even if he literally chucked that kite in the water, that'd be fine. It wouldn't have been a big deal. Set up your safety line first. So all good, but you'll see what he does here and why you always have to be really careful. Roll it. Stop. Roll the kite over. There you go. No, 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 it's perfect. Yeah, hold on. No, no. Too, that's okay, too late. <laughs> I didn't give you a thumbs up. Never, never did. You didn't see a thumbs up. I never said this. Don't let go until you see a thumbs up, okay? Okay, I'll see you guys later.
so right about at this point, I thought, yeah, good, we're good, all good, except until you see that glassy water there. And then I realize there's some serious wind shadows here that I'm going to have to contend with. Uh, probably not so bad at this point. That's kind of my, my figuring until I start sinking in the water. Uh, you can see there's an island there off to the right. Uh, that's what I'm thinking about. I need to make it upwind of that island. So I need to make it to the right side of that island, not the left side. So I'm targeting that and just trying to get up enough speed so I can get past that because the wind shadows were so bad that clearly they weren't as bad past that island. But I had to, I had to get to the upside of that island because you don't want to be downwind of an island like that, really, generally speaking. So uh, that's that was my goal. And when you see me do that back loop of the kite there, <laughs> you know I have very little power uh, and I'm sort of in trouble. I'm going to end up on the shore over there in the trees. Not, not like end of the world or anything like that, but uh, it's not nice being in an area that you're not familiar with. Uh, washing up on shore with a giant kite and having to walk barefoot like you know through the jungle or whatever so uh, yeah that's the story so far so as I come up to this island I am pretty happy for a moment because I feel powered and then you can see a couple of those water uh, splashes there uh, yeah I wasn't powered but I thought Right as I come up here, I can make it. <laughs> and by this point, I'm thinking, okay, maybe I can do a single tack and I'll make it if there's a good gust or something. And as I get further away from the island, tacking away from it, I realize, no, I have no chance because I am basically sinking. And uh, yeah, that's that's it. So I'm going to have to go on the, the leeward side of this island. And that's, that's it. That's all there is to it. And if the kite falls out of the sky, there's no chance of relaunch and wind shadow from an island like that. So the main thing is keeping the kite in the air. Um, basically, a learning experience that I had here was in this particular area, the kite needs to stay high above the water. This actually has been true for the entire experience that I had in Kalpatia, where in this area, for whatever reason, there's a huge, there's like miles of palm trees, you know, from where the wind is coming from in this area. And for whatever reason, and they're really, really tall palm trees, but you got to keep your, your kite high. You can't do the, the low kite thing, which is one of my favorite things to do. I love keeping my kite low and just sort of like finessing that, that push from the kite. Every little gust you feel and you can adjust for and, and just translate that power of the kite directly into the water with your board. Um, you can't do that. you got to keep your kite high in Kalpatia. Uh, when it's coming from the north at least so I don't know about any other wind directions that was something I learned here and in, in this case I lost my hat in the weeds literally in the weeds so it's probably about three feet deep here and you know my feet are in the muck and I'm sort of semi body dragging semi like walking in the muck just trying to get back to my hat without losing the kite because if the kite goes down here that is the end that's it like i'm not getting the kite back up there is no relaunch possibility at this point the wind is too light um so it's just keeping the kite up i'm not losing my freaking hat i've never lost a hat before um so not gonna happen and uh you know just trying to make it past the wind shadow of this island so you can actually see the weeds now and this is one of the benefits of having no fins on your board. Uh, one of the reasons I took them off is because if you had fins on the board, like I would have no chance in that in that regard there. Boom, and as you can see right here, I just passed the island. The wind shadow, gone. 
I'm hitting, I'm keeping my kite a little higher than I like, uh, sort of a standard, standard place. And I've got power and I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to make this point. I'm going to make the point. I'm going to make it to the peninsula out there. No problem. You see me let go of the bar. <laughs> so I've got plenty of power for a few moments. Does it last? It pretty much does, but there are some little funky wind shadows and stuff. But after that, I'm all smooth sailing from here on out. So uh, that's kind of what I planned from the beginning. I didn't realize there were going to be so many wind shadows because upwind of where I started and where I launched and where I was riding, I mean, there is plenty of upwind space. I mean, it's not a typical area where you think, okay, yeah, there's going to be all these really serious wind, wind shadows. Uh, sort of a rare experience for me. But, uh, you know, overall in the end, yeah, I was able to handle it, uh, made it to the island and whatnot, uh, or the peninsula out there. So, still worth it. I mean, anytime you can uh, you can do something like this, definitely do it. Take the risk. Why not? If you got to hike through the jungle, okay, it's not the end of the world. Um, I loved it. It was great. And uh, it was totally worth it.